Hello Taurus, this is your bonus reading for February 2019. I did promise it to you. Now I'm going to do a simple five card spread of the general energies and then I'm going to do a three card spread and clarify those of, of what you should know. So this is for Taurus, February 2019. Bonus reading for Taurus. See what the beginning energies are. Got a new table, so I'm trying to work it work with it. Hopefully it works out. Oop. Let's, let's separate it first. I don't want to do that yet. Incoming energies, the Knight of Pentacles. It's a very slow energy, but a sound and secure energy. This could be you. This could be you. Um, Taking things slow, looking at things carefully before you react. It also, it gives you some kind of security for some reason. Even though this is slow energy, it's stable and it's one of the best cards. It really is for stability. The only one better than this is the king. Let's find out what's going on here. You felt like in the past there was some manipulation done around you. Someone was manipulative. According to me, I'm looking at this because i got to read this. It's a magician in reverse. It's a manipulative behavior. It's someone that is willing to mess you over. It also could be that you were wanting to mess somebody over. You know, maybe someone you felt like, I want to get this person. It's almost like almost a revenge card to me. Other readers will say no, but... These are my card readings, and I read them to how the universe always brought the, bought the, brought the, interpre, bought the interpretation towards me. If I get these words out, it'd be great. Obstacle, there's no communication, or you don't know what to say, or someone doesn't know what to say to you. They don't know how to communicate with you. Feels like someone didn't get their wish. Everything they wanted with the Nine of Cups in reverse. What is coming towards you is a possibly a passionate new beginning elsewhere. Or someone's wanting to do this. <clears throat> but you're dealing with manipulative situations still. Ten of uh, Wands in reverse. That's letting go of a burden. So whatever bothered you and whatever manipulation... That is occurring that didn't give you what you were what you were wanting. Communications were off. Something new, something positive is coming in. Something passionate, and you're going to release a burden. You're going to let let it go. You're saying I can't do this, and like I said, it had to do with manipulations. Still got that uh, that Knight of Pentacles there. Just thought I put that out. Remember, we got that Knight of Pentacles. So it's a slow energy, but a sound one. It looks like you're going to get, you know, a sound mind back or, or what you were thinking. I'm thinking more clearly now, I should say. Now, this is what you should know. It's only three cards, but I do clarify these. What should Taurus know? February 2019. What does the universe want to tell you that you should know? Maybe that you didn't know. Let's see. <clears throat> Divide these up. Collaboration. Maybe work with more than just one person. It's uh, three of Pentacles in the upright. It's working well together. Get together and work on a certain project to make it prosper. The Emperor could be that the universe is telling you to rule well. For some of you, you may be dealing with a father figure. And others, you may be dealing with a judge of some sort. They're in the upright, so they have good judgment. You maybe have to juggle a couple things or take on more than just one situation and try to work with something that is a little possible chaotic, not really chaotic, but hard for you to juggle. 
someone may be asking something from you and it's going to put you, keep you on your toes. You're going to feel like this may have you lose some independence. That is the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. It also may cost a little money too. It may leave you a little strapped because you, you're trying to uh, accomplish two different things at one time. The universe is possibly telling you that something has come along that someone's going to require something of you that's going to take some effort and may cost a little bit of money or you may feel like it's going to lose a little bit of your free time. That, should, that could be it also. Let's find out why. The Emperor, why are you there? And why are you, you know, talking with Taurus? What is going on? What is your... They want a new venture. Yeah, something new is coming up. Okay, Taurus, someone wants you to start something new. And this person is very important that's asking you to do this, to do something new. But you, you're realizing you've got to juggle two different things at the same time. Can I get another card for the Emperor and the Fool, both in the upright for Taurus? Yeah, it's going to bring you in out of anxiety. They're telling you, this new thing is so cool, it is so for you. And it'll, it'll, it'll relieve some of those anxieties and stressors that have been, you know, messing with you. Now, along with this Two of Pentacles, change is coming. You need to know that. That also means change, change, changing things. And you're going to, like I said, you're going to be juggling maybe more than, you know, that's a little bit past your comfort zone. But let's see. Two of Pentacles, why are you there for Taurus? Ooh, that's a lover's card. It's a major arcana. It's about something solid. And for some of you, not all of you, you may be dealing with two different people that you are thinking about seeing. For others, you may work on a certain change, work on something that has to do with a lover. Juggling isn't always mean two different you know, people. It can mean that you're trying to juggle more than two things in your life. Or not necessarily different, just juggling. That's why people come up with this. But it could be that you're trying to juggle work and life and your love life. But something really cool is coming in that is an excellent opportunity. You may think, hold on, let me get, before I get to that Nine of Pentacles, let me get another card for the, the, um, this, this Two of Pentacles and the lovers here. Why are you there? For Taurus. Yeah, it'll bring you out of feeling trapped. It's going to break you free with the Eight of Swords in reverse. Now, i got to find out what, why this Nine of Pentacles is here, because it's in reverse. So I'm thinking it may cost you, or you may still be feeling the brunt of financial burdens. But as February goes on, and even past February, things are going to start growing. It's just that you're, th you're thinking, maybe I can't afford to do this new venture, or it's going to cost me too much. It's a good deal that's coming. Can you do it? Can you handle it? Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Why are you there? Yeah, you don't know if you can if you have the ability to work on it <clears throat> with the eight of pentacles in reverse. You may feel like you don't have enough free time, you know, independence to carry on this new venture. Someone thinks that it's gonna bring you out of out of anxiety. And remember this person, the emperor, knows his stuff. He or she knows their stuff. So when they're telling you something good that your love is coming, that'll bring you out of like entrapment and feeling like you can't get free, that'll bring you out of oppression and anxiety. But you yourself are thinking, ah, I don't know about this. I don't know if I can, you know, spare this time. So it's really up to you. The universe says something is bringing some, you know, the universe is bringing something to you, and you're thinking, ah, I don't know if I want to do it. So let's do, get one more card for the Nine of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. Both of them reverse. I don't see you wanting to work with it, even though it's lucrative. Yeah, you may judge against it. 
So this is what you need to know. This is a really good opportunity and you may just flush it down the toilet. Now it's up to you. It's letting you know that this is a good deal. I don't know what it is. It's different for everybody. You know, um, this is, I'm reading for the masses. It's not a, a personal private reading. But I'm seeing a good deal, an offer that may bring you in anxiety. You may think it's taking a leap of faith and jumping into something without investigating. But he's telling you, or she's telling you, you may have to work on it a bit. I promise you will love it in the end. And it'll break you out of this entrapment that you're feeling in life. But you may, like I said, just push it away. You may not feel like working on it and you may judge against it. That's what I'm feeling for a lot of you. I do see this right here. Remember, someone's offering you a, a passionate new beginning, something positive that will release a burden. But in the end, you may turn it down. And that's something. So if you don't want to turn it down, this thing that the universe letting you know, something good's coming your way and you may turn it down, it may, you may want to give it a, you know, another thought. Queen of Wands in reverse. We're getting a lot of Wands in reverse, though. Queen of Wands, Hell Heaven and Fury, like Queen of Wands in reverse. This may be the reason why you want to turn it down. You may be afraid that it upsets people. I'm seeing a lot of this lately in a lot of cards. Someone's always afraid it'll upset the other person if they go on to something that they love and want to go with. Yeah, sometimes when... You move forward in life, it, it ruffles a few feathers. I got that for Pisces, too, where not necessarily the exact cards, but one or two cards where people weren't happy with them. When things change in this life, remember the Two of Pentacles, it disrupts a lot of things, even though it may be a positive change. So it's up to you whether you take this. Maybe you got good reasons not to. Maybe you don't need to. But this is your reading. Yep, this is your reading, Taurus. And it's not a bad one. It's just one that is up to you whether you decide what you want to do. It's the universe just letting you know what's out there. Okay? So I'll talk to you later. Be back soon. Bye.